Hello everybody, this is Matador from FreeTradingVideos.com. It's 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Monday, November 2nd, 2009, and some really good price action today. Markets ran right up into the 105 area that we talked about as resistance. Hug the 200 MA. This is just the SPY, the Spiders ETF, so the broad market ETF for the S&P 500. Hugged the 200 MA, made a beautiful symmetrical triangle that we again talked about uh, right when the trends were all matching up to being neutral. And then we had a, a failure. The 50 MA sold all the way off. Perfect gap fill. Tried to hold for a moment and then broke that. Then we had a double bottom. Worked our way out of that and again right back up into uh, an area of good resistance. So after a symmetrical triangle like this, and you can draw it many, many different ways. You could draw it like that. You could draw it like this. But ultimately, the apex of that, where people started getting mangled up, is still right around the 105 mark that we had talked about as being so relevant from before. So that's my next level of resistance on the way back up. Support, we can now fix nicely the round number of 104 again. This swing low now becomes nice and relevant. And uh, the, of course, the double bottom here, the 103 mark. So a pretty good test of the 103 area on a higher time frame. Like the 60 minute chart, of course, let me remove this fib line. You can see that double bottom test and a rally all the way back up to about the 50% retracement level. So it's nice to have these numbers in our camp going forward. And uh, interesting day, if you look at a broad market on a daily chart, that's almost a high wave candle running right back up into the 50 MA and on a daily chart. Very, very nice. So we have that as resistance again there and a nice support area, but now we've broken that and tested it one time. Right below that, the 102 mark, and again, that's fairly significant volume, nothing to sneeze at. So that's what I'm looking at going forward. The trend, if I look intraday, you can see we uh, spent a good bit of time around uh, the 1.2 uh, area, then a big run back up as the market sold off right up into the 2 which is pretty significant volume flowing into the stocks going down and then it, come, it came right back to the 1.0 level at neutral. Trend Q, same kind of thing, but this time just a few volatile, just big spikes up into the 2 level again, confirming that sell off and then I pulled right, right back to the 1.0 level. Uh, the VIX, again, <laughs> just amazing move up. We saw that and then a sell off to about the 50 yard line. We marked that as well, intraday, chopped around, and then rallied all the way back up to make a double top now. So not too bad to have it pull back again to the 50% retracement level off that, but uh, definitely more volume, at least intraday, flowing into stocks on the decline, even after some good economic news. And that is definitely an eye-catching feature uh, to me and how long it might take to pull ourselves back up in this area if we do get a chance to do it. So good stuff, everybody. Again, on a higher time frame, you know what we're fighting into and why it might take a while to chew our way through all this up here. Uh, it's all relevant. So good stuff, everybody. Thanks for being a part of FTV, and hope you have a good rest of the night and a good trading day tomorrow. I'll talk to you tomorrow morning.